Now, my experts tell me that these rocket cars are the vehicles of the future. But the chances of me straddling one of these on my way to work, are you mad? They start way back there. The first two to cross the line will go through to our next round. Now, I'll warn you, these babies are fast, capable of speeds of up to 60 miles an hour. So whatever you do, don't blink. Let's find out who's fastest, the rocket cars or Barry's commentary. Dougie Fast Tracks from Halifax in West Yorkshire, looking for rather better fortune now in heat two. Light storm on the inside from Hornchurch in Essex. Mac 0.26 from Aberdeen in Scotland. And in the outside lane, plastic meltdown from Aberdeenshire as well. Teams stand by to compete. Power up. And light storm two from lane two, a new world record 1.037. Absolutely shot away from the rest of the field. Light storm the fastest 1.037 a world record leading the field. So Light Storm 2, actually the fastest rocket yes. car there of them yeah. all. Yes. Um, and has a new world record. But just how fast were those cars going? Give us an idea. Well, the fastest one reached a maximum speed of 153.4 miles an hour over, over 35 metres. No wonder I couldn't see it. <laughs> I was talking to them and they said uh, we must get the mass down. So we got the mass down as low as we possibly could go. In fact, they've got it so low that it's almost not a rocket car at all. It's almost just a motor with little wheels on it. But to get the mass as that low is that's how they've managed to get that very high speed. Thanks, guys. More of a blur than an event, at least until we slow-mo it. It's the rocket car's semis and final. But first, let's take a look at how the contenders made it here. Don't blink, he said. And he's right. 31-13, the winner. And Light Storm 2 from lane 2, a new world record. It's the Torpedo who lives up to its name. Barry saw all the action as it happened. In lane 1 is Light Storm from Hornchurch in Essex, won the heat in 1.03 seconds. Team Hearts have gone through a process of evolution, developing four cars. Silver medalists last year, but now they're back with this, Light Storm 2. They've gone for miniaturization. They're using a micro A-rated motor that weighs in only 14 grams, but the car only weighs seven grams. Talk about power to weight ratio. If the ignition works, this thing's gonna go like stink. Blink, and you'll miss it. Lightstorm 2, Turbo Flame, Rapid Rickshaw, Catalyst. And it's Lightstorm 2 from lane 1 and Rapid Rickshaw from lane 3, the two qualifiers. The time 1.48 from Lightstorm. As Simon said, if you blinked, you missed it. Look at the gap with Rapid Rickshaw finishing second and then Turbo Flame third. So to the final with doggy fast tracks drawn in lane one. Best time of 1.61 seconds. In lane two, the fastest in the field, 1.03, the best time of light storm two. In lane three, Mac 0.26, a runner up in the semi final, best time of 1.31 seconds. And in the outside lane, Rapid Rickshaw, whose best time is 2.2. Four, three, second semi-final runner-up. Power up. And it's light storm, but only just from Mac 0.26. The best race was in the final. The winning time 1.924. It was very, very close. Victory to the favourites, Lightstorm 2 by three hundredths of a second from Mac 0.26, with Doggy Fast Tracks taking the bronze. So, Laurie, Peter, and Robert, congratulations. 
Thanks. And welcome. You are new world record holders. How does that feel? Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> brilliant. Yeah. Good. I'm glad you're pleased. Because you took only four hours to build your award-winning robot, but mm. three months to design it. That's How come right. it took so long, Laurie? Well, we went through a series of uh, stages with the rocket design, from last year's silver medal car through to light lightweight designs, more and more lightweight all the time. And also, um, I found that by using lighter engines, um, they'd run the distance required. But because they're lighter engines, they're less propellant in them, the car runs faster. So we ended up to that little thing that Noel's holding. How are you going to celebrate? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. How are we going to celebrate? It's the most important of all of the questions I've asked you. We worked it out yet. Well, well, what, are you doing first? First? <laughs> what are you doing to me? You'll have a rocket in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Some, Noel. <laughs> someone had to say. <laughs> Thank you very much. Today, when the rocket car champions proved that when it comes to robot evolution, persistence pays off. After two silver medals in two successive years, Lightstorm, having already set a new world record of 1.03 seconds, finally took that elusive goal. See you tomorrow, and I'd just like to assure viewers that no robots were harmed during the filming of this programme. Good night from the Techno Games.